life I know that compares with pure imagination. Hello everybody, I'm Tupperware Pete. G'day, g'day. And how you going? G'day, g'day. And she'll be right. I am going to pop on. Uh, due to popular demand, we have ba had a request for pudding because it's pudding on Saturday, 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 Saturday. We're going to do some pudding. All right, so what I'm going to get straight into it, right? If you don't have one of these in your kitchen, you need at least one. This is brilliant. When you're using it, it's a zero carbon footprint handheld blender that will chop Slice, dice, whip, fold, mix, beat, blend, churn. It will do everything, all right? These are all of the little bits and pieces that it comes with. These are the blades. You get the little protective covers. Just remove them when you get it, right? Actually, <laughs> funny story, true story. Two people. in. The, I've been selling Tupperware almost 30 years. And twice now, people have called me and gone... Peter, I, my chopper arrived. I'm so excited. But I've got all these red bits in with my onions. I don't know what's going on. And I would say that's the anti-slip grip that comes on the inside. When you get it, just wash your product before you use it. Take out the anti-slip grip. Apply that to the base. Once you've applied that to the base, then it will stop it on, from sliding around on the bench top. All right? So please do that. <laughs> Now, on the top here, you've got your little funnel attachment. So whether you're making meringues, mayonnaise, aioli, you want to put your Cointreau into your champagne, or whether you just want to put caster sugar into your egg whites, or whatever it is that you want to do, can you see here, see how there's measurements? So you can close that off, measure it up, open it up, and it does a little slow drizzle. Then you've got the little paddle whisk. Check this out. Look at the design of this. Isn't this amazing? Everything your double beaters will do, this will do without electricity, right? So zero carbon footprint, right? So whether you're whipping cream, um, you're f ble uh, cre creaming butter and sugar, whether you're doing muffins or pancake mixes, cake mixes, quiches, frittatas, um, what else have I done in here? Meringues. Um, it's absolutely brilliant. I love it, all right? So what we're going to do is we've got, the, we've got the blades. See how they're curved? It's like a nice little trinity of blades there. We pop that into there. I've got a packet of Scotch Finger Biscuits. What's he going to do, I wonder? Let's open up a packet of Scotch Finger Biscuits and we will literally pour that straight into there. Now, normally, <laughs> pop the top on here. If you know me and you've been watching my lives and videos, you will know there is a fill line. See the fill line? Tupperware say respect the fill line. Please respect the fill line. For video purposes, once you shake that up, have a look. See the fill line now? Awesome. Let's give it a crack. Put, if you put all your weight on your front foot, right, you throw your hip into it, you can get a good cardiovascular workout happening in the privacy of your own home. <laughs> all right. Oh, hang on a minute. There's six pulls of the cord, right? Now... See, it's fairly chunky. Actually, this, a packet of Scotch Finger Biscuits or a packet of knees, any packet of sweet biscuits. You know, if you're making up your um, cheesecake bases, this is perfect. You want to make up your rum balls with wheat bix or Tim Tams or, you know, your chocolate teddy biscuits. Pop them straight into here. Don't be messing about with glad wrap and a tea towel and a rolling pin, right? Just pop it straight into here. Shake, 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 shake. How easy is that? Now, just to show you. Upside down, Miss Jane. There we go. That protects everything. Look at that. Fine breadcrumbs. Oops. How awesome is that, right? Really perfect. Really beautiful. Now, what I will show you, what I should have done beforehand, which I've just realised I didn't do. Um, I will grab my little chopper, if I can find it. With... <laughs> Oh no, where is the little chopper? There's one there that's got, oh, here we go. Here's one that I have did earlier. I've got sunflower seeds and pepitas in here. So what I wanted to do, I've only just realized that I, I should have done, I've, I've gone one step ahead of myself, all right? So let's just grab, here we go. We'll grab a clear mate. 
and we'll just pop this sunflower and pepita seeds straight into there. We'll pop them back into the cupboard or into the fridge. All right. They always get caught in my teeth, so that's why I give them a chop up through there first. Great for throwing through your porridge and oatmeal and muesli and all that sort of stuff. I've got in here, I did in my Micro Pro grill earlier, you know, this is the one that goes into the microwave that's made out of metal. It's an engineering miracle. I put walnuts in here. See, I haven't quite cleaned it properly. <laughs> Actually, this side I did, but this side I didn't. That was for the previous video. I did walnuts and I just drizzled honey all over it. I popped it in for three minutes just to, just to sugarcoat those um, walnuts, candied walnuts, right? And so now what I'm going to do is I pulled that out of the freezer. I just separated them all into there. They are, I shouldn't pop that in my mouth. They are beautiful. And what I'm going to do now is just grab a spatula Can you see this here? Oh, yum o! -oh. This is my candied walnuts. They're going everywhere because I forgot to put them in my salad and I thought, you know what? Let's throw them into pudding! Waste not, want not! All right. Non-stick, that's just hot soapy water. That honey's gonna come off beautifully. All right, so we'll pop that into there. Let's grab the top. Now, when you have an online Tupperware party or an in-home Tupperware party, whether you're a full retail paying customer or whether you've purchased an online business account, you can get anything out of the main range collection for 70% off. So you might want to get the big chopper or the little chopper as your reward, right? How awesome is that? We've got some roughly chopped candied walnuts. We are going to fold that straight through into here. Excuse me. Woo. <laughs> the summer cold is blowing in. <laughs> All right, so we've got our candied walnuts with our scotch finger biscuits. I have here, I know someone said it looks mouldy, but it's not mouldy. It's got some leftover chocolate. It's half a tin of condensed milk, which I've got in here, which has been in my fridge for about six weeks. But because it's in a Clearmate container, it hasn't been oxidising in a can, so that's going to extend the life. Plus, the Clearmate is a liquid-tight, airtight container, and it's Tupperware, so you know it's going to last forever, right? So we're going to pop that straight into there. I love the Tupperware spatula because that literally gets all of that condensed milk straight out of there for me. We're going to pop that straight into here, and we are literally... I've got some shredded coconut... And I'm just going to grab, here are my Tupperware measurements. You know the Tupperware measuring cups? They give you six instead of four, so that that way you've got a two thirds and a three quarters cup, so you don't have to keep, you know, doing three of one and two of another sort of thing. So I've just got half a cup. Let's do the half a cup measure. I'll pop them straight over there. I've got half a cup of shredded coconut, and we will pop that straight into here and I've got a lime. You put the lime in the coconut. Yes, you do. So this is my zest and press. This is the Tupperware zest and press. There's your zester. And this is your citrus press. This is amazing. I love this. I use it all the time. Actually, where are we? You know your, your, your Tupperware water bottles? This is mine from the freezer. <laughs> you know, the... Because the Tupperware now do water bottles that go for the freezer and that you can drop them on the cement, they will not break. You can just grab your juice, you can pop that straight onto the top and juice straight into there. I love it, all right? So we've got that into there. So what we're going to do is, we've got our lime. I have scrubbed this lime. So I'm going to do the zest of one lime. Straight into here. I'm not going to use the juice. I'm only going to use the zest because I want that lime, the coconut, that's going to blend beautifully with the scotch finger biscuits, the condensed milk, and those candied walnuts are going to be absolutely gorgeous. Now, I might want to do, like, rumble-type things with them. I might want to pop them into a Tupperware silicon and do it as a slice and pop that into the fridge or the freezer to freeze. I might want to do it in my hamburger maker. See the hamburger maker just there? And I might want to do little round discs 
But what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to do balls, and I'm going to pop them on a toothpick, and I'm going to pop them into the Tupperware freezer container, and I'll show you. I haven't done this one for a while, and I'll show you how amazing the Tupperware freezer containers really are. Okay, so what we'll do is, we've got almost all of that zest. I've been chatting and not focusing on what I've been doing. Oh, uh, you know what I'm like. I digress. Make sure you let me know where you're watching from. I love knowing where people are watching from. All right, so there is the zest. There's my line. Oh, there's a bit more there. That's a good bit. And I'm going to, instead of wasting this, all I'm going to do now, I'll show you. We'll just pop this straight into a clear mate container. And then when I want to do lime in a drink or something, I've always got that. And that's in my fridge, that'll last for another four weeks easily, right? So we've got that. So can you see? There's the lime. You've got the lime with the coconut and all of that. I'm just going to just mix this through. And we'll just see if we've got enough condensed milk. If that's going to blend through perfectly. I'm left-handed, so we've got to make sure that we do that for the camera so that you can see that properly. And I don't know if we've got enough condensed milk. I think we might need a little bit more condensed milk because that was left over from the last time I did pudding, which was a few weeks ago now. I do have a tin of condensed milk here. Now, have you ever had a ring pull where you can't get your nail right underneath? It's like, I can't get this ring pull. Quick, get a knife. Oh my goodness, that's not safe. We need to make sure we grab a Tupperware can opener, which will not leave any sharp edges. It will make it very safe. Let me show you. You open up your can. You've got to get the rim of the can between this turning, to turning knob and this wheel here, right? And then you close your arms up and you know you've got it on because the whole thing lifts up. In a clockwise direction, whether you're left-handed or right-handed, turn it in a clockwise direction until you hear that click. Sometimes you don't hear that click, but you will feel the pressure ease, right? Open up the arms and don't be like one lady about 25 years ago who got the can opener and she tried opening every can in her pantry and then called me and said, Peter, I've tried opening every can in my pantry. It doesn't work. And I've gone, oh, no, no one's told you about the beak. <laughs> See the little beak? She went, what beak? I bought this online. I'm like, that's why you need a Tupperware demonstrator or a Tupperware consultant to help teach you about the product, all right? So what you do is you open this up, you grab your little beak, you hook that over the can, one hand on the can, the other hand lifts up, and can you see, let me just scrape this off, can you see how this never touches any food? You never have to wash it. If you never wash this can opener, it will be the last can opener you ever buy. It will last you forever, allergic to water, all right? See how it's not, it's never touched any food, right? So what you do is you go over to the bin, you open up your arms, and that goes into the bin. Now I've got condensed milk everywhere, but look at this, check this out. You ready? No sharp edges whatsoever. And, oh. <laughs> and, same on the top, no sharp edges. So you can re-upcycle these, not a problem. So we're gonna throw in, where's my, let's throw in another little dollop. <laughs> Measured with love, of course. I have no idea what measurements I'm doing now because I've done half a tin of this and half a clear made of that. And let's just... Oh, we're getting there. That looks really good. That looks really good. It's quite firm. Yum. Oh, Ooh, let's just... That bit... Ah. Oh. Yum. Right. It's time. It's time, time, time. Okay, what we're going to do is... I've got some desiccated coconut. Not designated. Well, it is designated, desiccated coconut, all right? We are just going to literally... This is the silicon bag. These are the ones that go into the fridge, the freezer, the microwave, the oven, the dishwasher. You can take them to school, work, uni, camping, travelling... It's a 100% liquid tight, airtight, freezer safe container. 
So what we're going to do is, we have got my Tupperware ice cream scoop, which makes the best size balls. So we've got that there. We're going to get uniform balls. We're just going to give that a bit of a roll it and fold it and roll it again. Throw that into the desiccated coconut. Now, let me just show you the Tupperware freezer container, right? So right now, when you purchase an online business account, this comes in your kit. So what you do is, this is the large one. It's brilliant. It's very rarely available for sale. Um, it's, I use mine, don't look too closely. <laughs> Whether you're using this as a meat tray or frozen fruit or sweet treats, it's perfect, right? So what we're going to do is, I'll just show you. I've got my toothpicks. Oh, grab a toothpick. We're going to find this ball. Oh no, that's not going to work. I thought, <laughs> I thought I could do the two. I thought I could do that, but we're not going to. So all I'm going to do is just pop them straight into there. That toothpick idea, we'll scrap that idea. <laughs> all right, we'll grab our, we'll grab our. Oh, grab our ice cream scoop. Here we go. And we'll just roll that around. But do you get the idea, right? Now I've been selling Tupperware almost thirty years, and when I started, I didn't know anything about the product at all. I just we had Tupperware growing up as kids, and I thought, oh yeah, I love Tupperware. Um, I might, you know, I'd like to get the kit. I'd like to get free Tupperware. I'd like to give it a go and see, you know, how we go, sort of thing. And so I used to ask people at my parties. I'd stand up and I'd say, who's got one of these? And someone would put their hand up and say, oh, I've got one of those. So I'd plonk it in their lap and I'd say, oh, great. Can you tell me about it? <laughs> and people, I, that kept me going for about three years. I just used to show up to people's houses and if people had been to a party before and they knew, they knew what I was going to say, they'd be ready. It's like, oh, I want to demonstrate that. I want to demonstrate that. And then when I wanted to, you know... Um, I enjoy training people, I enjoy teaching people, and so I just built a team. So the people that wanted to demonstrate the Tupperware, I used to chat to them about, you know, why don't you open up an online business account and um, earn a bit of money and um, build some confidence, fill your kitchen up with some Tupperware, and um, not only do you get free Tupperware, but they also give you, like, microwave ovens, kettles, um, iPhones, overseas trips... Um, there's a lot of perks to selling Tupperware. Um, it's amazing. I absolutely love it. All right. So you get the idea. So all this is just to recap, if you're just tuning in, all this is, is a packet of Scotch finger biscuits, about a half a cup of, um, sweetened condensed milk. I've got the zest of one lime. I've got about, a. Uh, a half a cup or a three quarters of a cup of um, candied walnuts that I did in the Micro Pro grill. And I've also got about a half a cup of shredded coconut. I'm just rolling them into balls and I've got to work quickly because I'm in Southeast Queensland where the humidity is like 99%, right? And I've just got my ice cream scoop. I'm rolling them in. Let's do a big one here. Rolling them around and then Popping them straight into my silicon bag, where I've got the coconut. But you get the idea, right? How awesome is that? I'm going to... Oh, that one needs a bit of a... But you get the idea, right? If you've got any questions or suggestions, let me just quickly... Well, I'm going to finish off this. If you've got any questions or suggestions, please let me know. I'm more than happy to help. And, oh, hang on. You know what I forgot? Ah, oh, there was one thing I was going to do. You know what I... Ah, oh, no. You know what I forgot? I forgot my troubles and I'm happy And the dance cares away Shout out and got happy I'll see you all another day. <laughs> Thank you all for watching, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.